good day children sai ram and welcome back to our fourth lesson of geography structure of the ocean floor children we have learned in the previous lesson about humidity and clouds the different types of humidity that is the relative humidity humidity then we have learned about the clouds also the various types of clouds at the medium altitude at the higher altitude at the lower altitude these are the things which we have already learned in our previous lesson now in this lesson we are going to learn about the structure of the ocean flow okay so it's a very interesting lesson let's see what's happen in this lesson now if you see this picture over here what is this picture showing you this picture is showing you the various land forms okay the various land forms above the sea level and below the sea level okay if you see in this picture properly you will see that so there are certain markings over here at zero is your sea level okay then above the zero we can see 500 at altitude of 1000 1500 2000 2500 3000 okay while if you see below the sea level we are having negative 500 negative 1000 negative 1500 negative 2000 okay so these are the various altitudes shown over here that is a positive altitude and the negative altitude children such type of numbers we have seen in our math mathematics also that is positive numbers and negative numbers we have learned about it isn't it so let's learn about geography now with taking the help of mathematics now if you see at the sea level this is your sea level correct above the sea level at a height of 2800 suppose this what is this landform called as yes correct this landform is called as mountain what it is called as mountain while if you see over here at an height of only 1000 between 1000 to 1500 what is that landform called as correct that landform is called as a plateau okay so this is your plateau now if you see this over here what is this this is your coast what it is this is your coast okay now we have seen the landforms which are there above the sea level now let's see about the landforms which are in inside the sea that is below the sea levels now here in this lesson we are going to learn about the various landforms below the sea level before we start just answer some of my questions related to this picture over here what parameters were used for classifying the landforms on the earth okay what parameters are used over here the various altitude okay the various altitude is the parameter used for knowing the various landforms on the earth's surface what parameters were used for naming the landforms below water okay what parameters are used for naming the landforms before below water that is the submerged landforms correct and what parameter it is used what type of uh, numbers are used over here negative numbers okay so let's continue with the lesson i hope you all have understood this figure very nicely okay let's continue can you tell this is a fact what we are learning continents and oceans lie on plates now what are these plates on the surface of the earth there are certain plates okay we have learned about uh, the crust continental crust and oceanic crust okay so here also we are talking about that plates only okay on the crust of the earth surface we having certain plates all together there are seven major plates on the earth surface okay and on this seven major plates only we having the continents and the oceans okay everybody has understood the first point continents and ocean lie on plates continents and oceans are a part of the lithosphere and hydrosphere respectively continent is a part of the lithosphere while if you see the oceans it is it is a part of the hydrosphere okay during low tides 
लास्ट इयर यूल हैव लर्न इन यर सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड वॉट इज अ हाई टाइड एंड वॉट इज अ लो टाइड करेक्ट सो ड्यूरिंग लो टाइड्स वॉट हैपन द लेवल ऑफ ओशन वॉटर इट गोज डाउन दैट मीन्स द वॉटर गोज बिलो बिहाइंड ओके सो इट गोज बिहाइंड एंड द लैंड बिलो इट इट कैन बी सीन वेरी क्लियरली ओके वी कैन सी दैट लैंड वेरी नाइसली एंड आई वी कॉल सच टाइप ऑफ वी कॉल सच टाइप ऑफ लैंड एज बीच ओनली ओके जस्ट बिकॉज द वॉटर हैज गॉन बिहाइंड वॉट हैपन द लैंड इज एक्सपोज टू अस ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन शिप्स रेक वेन दे स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट द रॉक्स इन द ओशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ शिप्स रेक ओके द ब्रोकन पार्ट ऑफ द शिप्स okay at times the broken parts of the ship we can either find it on the beach or we can find at the bottom of the seas or ocean okay we can find the ships wreck now how the ships wreck how do the ships break okay because of the ships uh, ships striking against the rocks in the ocean okay whatever rocks are present in the ocean against them the ship gets strike against it that means it dashes over it and it gets broken up at times it sinks into the water or at times it comes and bees on the shore okay so that is a ship wreck understood children this was your can you tell that is a fact okay these were the facts so let's learn about it let's learn about the geographical explanation about whatever we have seen in the can you tell part the proportion of water and land is uneven on the earth we know that correct whatever land is there whatever water and land is there on the earth surface that is uneven okay it is not at all same everywhere somewhere it is more somewhere it is less okay so we can we can say that the proportion of, of water and land is uneven on the earth as you all know 71% of the surface is covered by water so 71% of the land uh, that is earth surface is covered by water okay and only 29% is land correct you all know this part but if you know there is land even below the water okay we just count the land as 29% and 71% is water but if you know that even in the 71% of water which is there under that also we have our land but there is land even below this water but like water as you all know like water is at the same level everywhere so only whenever we talk about water we say at sea level okay because water is at the same level but the land below it or the land above it is not same everywhere you all must be knowing somewhere it is very at a high altitude somewhere at a lower altitude okay it differs so it is not at the same level as we classify land forms on the basis of altitude okay 500 meters above sea level 1000 meters above sea level this is the way we calculate the land forms on the earth surface okay in the same way we can classify land forms submerged under the water also okay we can say Now, minus 500 below sea level, minus 1000 meters below sea level. This is the way we can even classify the landforms submerged under water. So, understood, children, everyone? Proportion of water and land is uneven on the earth surface. 71 percent is covered by water. Under that water also we have our land. Okay, we can classify landforms under the water also on the basis of altitude yes children see this is a beautiful picture of the ocean relief what can you see in this picture the ocean floor okay we can see the ocean floor over here if you see over here this is your continental crust okay we have learned about it continental crust okay this is your continental shelf i'll let you know what are this terms about okay you'll just see what is the continental shelf this portion over here is your continental shelf now if you see this slope over here just at the end of the shelf we have a slope that is your continental slope 
so this sloping part is your continental slope okay one more thing is that the continental slope is like a boundary to the continental crust okay it is the end part of the continental crust then at the end over here we have the continental rise little bit rise is there over here okay that is your continental rise then a plain area comes over here the plain area is called as abyssal plain what it is called as abyssal plains okay and here is your oceanic crust starting where the abyssal plain is starting your oceanic crust is starting over there so you all have understood this picture nicely so depending upon this picture over here you are going to learn about the various landforms under water apart from this we are having many other things that we are going to learn in this lesson understood children so let's continue with our lesson firstly we'll talk is about the ocean relief that is the landforms under the ocean the relief of ocean flow is decided upon the depth of from the sea floor and the shape of the land there okay how can we come to a conclusion about the relief of the ocean flow the relief of the ocean floor is decided upon by the depth from the sea floor and the shape of the land there okay if you see the average depth of the ocean is around 3700 meters what is the average ocean depth 3700 meter this is the average depth the ocean floor relief consists of submerged landforms okay what is actually the ocean floor the ocean floor is nothing but the submerged landforms the landforms which have gone under the water that is only called as ocean floor the structure of the ocean floor differs from ocean to ocean it is not the same in all the oceans okay in one ocean it is having a different structure in the other ocean it can be a different structure okay so we cannot say that all the oceans will have the same strike of ocean flow as we go away from the coast the structure of the ocean flow changes as we go from away from the coast that is inside the water here we are talking about the inside the water when we are going away from the coast slowly by slowly the ocean flow goes on changing so firstly we will talk about is the first part of the ocean flow that is the continental shelf in the picture i showed you what is a continental shelf okay the part which starts from the coast the land near the coast and submerged under the sea that means some part is on the coast and some part is under the sea that la land part over here okay is called as continental shelf what is a continental shelf the land near the coast and submerged under the sea is called as continental shelf and if you know this continental shelf is the shallowest part of the ocean bed okay what is the meaning of shallow from where we can see the bed of the floor that is called as shallowest part okay and is called submerged coastline that part of the coast which is under the water that is called as submerged coastline so what is continental shelf continental shelf is a land near the coast and submerged under the sea okay it is the shallowest part of the ocean and therefore it is called as submerged coastland now if you see the slope of this submerged coastland it is gentle it is not at all steep it is very much gentle we have seen in the picture how the slope is it is very much gentle the extent is not uniform everywhere okay somewhere it is narrow somewhere it is broader okay it is narrow along some coast or broad for hundreds of kilometers at others just now i told you it is not uniform everywhere somewhere it is narrow and somewhere it is broad okay narrow along the coast or if you see broad for hundreds of kilometers at others now if you see the depth of this continental shelf it is up to 200 meters below the sea level what is the depth of the continental shelf 
टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स बिलो द सी लेवल तो दिस इज योर कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल नाउ लेट सी द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ वाई दिस कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट इज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट बींग द शेलो इज पार्ट वॉट इज इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ इज एन एक्सटेंसिव फिशिंग ग्राउंड ओके यर फिशिंग कैन बी डन ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल ओके एज इट इज द शेलो पार्ट ऑफ द ओशन फ्लो ओके एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच द सनलाइट रीचेज इट्स बेड दैट मीन द सनलाइट कैन पेनेट्रेट इन टू द वॉटर इन टू द बेड ऑफ दिस कॉन्टिनेंटल शेल्फ बिकॉज ऑफ विच इवन अलगे प्लैंगटॉन दिज आर द Uh, plants which grow over there and which is the food for fish because of which the fish come over here in large number to get their food and so the, so the fisherman can catch this fish over here so it becomes an extensive extensive fishing ground understood why continental shelf is becoming an extensive fishing ground everyone has understood yes let's continue even the continental shelf is good for natural gas mineral oil and various other minerals also okay can be obtained by mining in this continental shelf okay so from the continental shelf even we can get natural gas mineral oil and various other minerals you must be knowing the example that is mumbai high okay Mumbai High, which is situated in the Arabian Sea, what what we get from here? It is a source from where we can obtain mineral oil and natural gas. Okay, we have put up a plant. Okay, we have put up a plant in the Arabian Sea from where we can obtain mineral oil and natural gas. And what is that place called as Mumbai High? So everybody has understood what is the importance of continental shelf. it is extensive fishing ground then we can also get even the natural gas and mineral oil from here understood children okay let's continue yes let's continue with our ocean flow now the next part we are going to learn is the continental slope where the continental shelf is ending there only our continental slope is starting i showed you in the picture okay after the continental shelf the slope of the sea bed becomes steeper okay what happens to the slope of the sea bed it becomes little bit steeper and here starts our continental slope now what is the depth of the slope the depth of the slope is from 200 meter to 3600 meter so what is the depth of the slope from 200 meter to 3600 meter the continental slope is narrow okay it is very much narrow and as i told you the lower boundary of the continental slope is considered to be the boundary of the continent okay whatever is the lower boundary of the continental slope it is considered as the boundary of the continental crust okay as i had showed you already in the picture So children that's all for today we'll continue with the remaining part of the lesson in the next lecture till then thank you